Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the Fish Corner. I'm Cleveland. Today, I just want to give you a quick look at my 20-gallon basking area for my African side neck turtle, um, as well as showing you my over-the-head sump system that I developed. It's filled with pothos and a couple other plant species that, um, that remove the nitrates out of the tank. Also have that light up there, adding additional lighting to the, to the plants. Um, and then I'll give you a little glimpse of... Um, of how this guy likes his his tank. So we got him in here with a bunch of cichlids and uh, plenty of climbing space, plenty of areas where, where he could climb up, get his head out the water, swim to the top and stick his head out whenever he wants to. But um, he has a bunch of different areas where he could climb out and, and um, dry off. So aside from him actually climbing all the way out and getting onto the basking area, but um, I'm working on him. He hasn't really gone up there by himself, but I do remove him, put him up there for a little bit, let him bask, and, and then put him back in the water just so I can make sure he don't get shell rot. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a process, and um, it's enjoyable. So, you know, cichlids can go in the tank with turtles. You know, um, if you have smaller fish, you got to be cautious. Definitely want to be cautious because he'll – He'll catch them. Um, but these guys, they're big and um, they're pretty quick. So he has no chance of um, of um, catching them. Sometimes the cichlids, like the Oscar, will go after them and uh, scare them or whatever. But um, it's never bad. You know, no, no limbs missing, <laughs> no bites or anything like that that I have to be concerned about. So it's, um, it, it's, it's, it's fun, you know. So... Uh, you'll see you'll actually see the Oscar go after him right now. Yeah, so that's that's all it is You know, just um, just let him know who's boss, you know, um, I think that's kind of good for him So he don't look at him as food And here's me just um, feeding this guy some tilapia And sometimes I don't want to just give it straight to him. Let him uh, Let him give a little bit of a chase but um yeah, so this guy eats tilapia, shrimp, earthworms. Um, I put spirulina on the, on the shrimp when I feed it to him sometime. So take a look at how the African side neck eats. He uses his claws to tear at it and, and hold it as he's pulling it apart. Um, he's a pretty aggressive eater. So um, you don't want to get bit by that guy. But uh, yeah. Like I said, he loves his tilapia. Alright, so that's all I have for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.